Welcome once again, friends, to A Word of Hope for Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. Our readings today begin, friends, with the book of Ecclesiastes. And we have that wonderful, familiar beginning, Vanity of vanity, vanity says Kohaleth, Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? After all, one generation passes and another comes. And then further, later down, the eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. And the more you read this book, you can get a little bit depressed, thinking it's all useless. What is this author getting at? But what he's getting at is the very wisdom of the heart that the psalmist talks about. The responsorial psalm is, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You have been our refuge. Not all these vanities we can get caught up in, whether they're different pleasures or different possessions, um, different experiences we have to be a part of. And the more, the better, because the more is always the better, right? That's how we can think. And our author here is reminding us, it's all passing. Enjoy them to the degree that you can, but don't get caught up in them. Don't make them your refuge. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. And when the Lord is our refuge, that's when in our seeing we're satisfied, in our hearing we're satisfied. Otherwise, we're living our life from one rush to the next. The refuge of food, the refuge of the pocketbook, the refuge of the phone, rather than going to the one who could really satisfy us. So when the psalmist says further on down in that wonderful psalm, teach us to number our days all right that we might gain wisdom of heart. What is wisdom? It's to relish the things of God. That's what wisdom means theologically to relish the things of God and to hold them in our heart. What's the heart? It's the core of us. It's the only place that we can really be satisfied. So today, friends, let us think about how to utilize that wisdom of our heart to take refuge, not in vanities that are passing, but in the only God that can satisfy that deepest core of ourselves can bring that peace that the world can never give. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge, and that will always be the case, no matter our age. God bless you.